Hello YouTubers, coming up on Yasmin's cooking show. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make Louisiana's famous red bean sauce, also known as sauce pois rouge in Haitian Creole. Now, if you have high blood pressure or if you're pregnant, this is the episode for you because following our time in the kitchen today after the sauce, we're going to talk about folate and potassium, their functions in the body, why we need them, as well as their food sources in our nutrition segment. This is stuff you need to know, especially if you have high blood pressure, okay? Now, our culinary terms today are nappe and legume. Nappe and legume, or legumes, the way you say in English. And then finally, in our last segment, a moment in food history. We are going to talk about how red beans made their way to America in the late 1700s. It's going to be good. I'm Yasmin. Welcome to my channel. Let's get started. So what is red bean sauce? Red bean sauce, not to be confused with red bean paste, which is a Japanese ingredient. The sauce is one of Louisiana's best contributions to American regional cuisine. It's made with kidney beans, ham, water, and seasonings. And it's always served with white rice, just like we do in Haiti. Now, here's a fun fact you may not know about red bean and rice. That dish was so loved by Louis Armstrong that he used to sign his letters, red beans and rice liors. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> the very, very first film I saw Mr. Louis Armstrong in was in Hello, Dolly, um, starring Barbara Streisand. And if I recall correctly, that film was directed by Gene Kelly, who starred in Singing in the Rain. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful classics. Let's talk about how this sauce is prepared. This lovely melange is slowly simmered until the beans are tender to the touch, okay? So the beans are cooked, pureed, and then reduced to perfection. Now, most cooks make red bean sauce with plain water, but to enhance the flavor and refine our sauce today, we're going to include the chicken stock we made in episode one. And instead of ham, we're going to use smoked turkey neck to keep it light, healthy, but still tasty and southern. And we're also going to add cream coconut. The coconut brings the sauce back to its authenticity, its birthplace, Haiti. Okay? And I got to tell you, coconut always takes our, our taste buds back to the Caribbean. I love that. Just like making a souffle, red bean sauce is not a dish that we can rush. And having said that, okay, I want you to know that most dry beans need to be soaked for several reasons. Number one, water softens the beans, okay, which means less cooking time. Think about your electric bill. Number two, if we don't soak the beans, the longer the cooking time, the more nutrients we lose during the cooking process. And we'll talk about those nutrients in our nutrition segment next. Number three, which I think is probably the most important reason to soak dry beans, okay? This is also where the science comes in when it comes to culinary education. Pre-soaking beans helps remove the complex sugars found in beans that are hard for our stomach to digest. And those complex sugars are what are causing gas after we've had, let's say, chili for lunch, okay? So now you know what's causing all this gas after we've had beans, okay? And how do we get rid of those complex sugars? By soaking the beans before 
boiling okay and how long do we soak them for personally i soak my beans the, the night before okay and then the cooking time about 45 minutes to one hour here are culinary terms for today legume Legume is French for vegetables, but in English, it refers to plants that have seed pods, such as beans, peas, and lentils, as you see here in this picture. Another definition of legume is a traditional Haitian dish made in the form of a stew. We cook it by simmering a protein, such as beef, pork, or crab with lots of vegetables such as eggplant, chayote, carrots, cabbage, spinach, and watercress. It's pronounced legume in Haitian Creole. I'm going to teach you how to make it one day. It's absolutely fantastic. Okay, and legume can also be made strictly with vegetables if you are a vegetarian. Our next term is nappi. Nappi is the consistency of a sauce, simple as that. Okay, look at this picture. A great red bean sauce should coat the back of the spoon. Not too runny and not too thick. So here we have it, legume and nappi. Let's take a look at our ingredients list for the red bean sauce, sauce bois rouge, okay? We're going to need two cups of kidney beans. They need to be soaked overnight. Half a cup of red bell pepper. You can cut it any way you want because we're gonna puree the sauce four cilantro sprigs, three ounces of smoked turkey neck. Remember, we're not doing ham because we're trying to keep it light and healthy. One tablespoon of olive oil, four cups of chicken stock, four to six cups of water. We're going to add more as needed. Two green onions, two garlic cloves mashed, and one teaspoon of salt. All right. And we're going to add these items after we puree the sauce. One tablespoon of unsalted butter, unsalted butter. Half a shallow pique. I'm going to explain that to you a little bit later on. One teaspoon of Maggi or chicken bouillon. Two tablespoons of cream coconut. You can get that from any Asian market or Caribbean market. Three sprigs of thyme. One scotch pepper bonnet. The oil in that pepper will simply release that authentic Caribbean flavor that we need. We're not busting it because we don't want the sauce spicy, okay? We just want the oil to be released during the simmering. We're going to need some salt and pepper to taste, okay? And then finally, we need two green onions, the green part only, cut diagonally for garnish. All right, let's get started. Let's take a look at the difference, the physical differences between soaked beans and dried beans straight out of the package. Now, they both weigh two cups, but when soaked overnight, beans more than double in size, as you see here, and they cut down on your cooking time. Here's the first half of our mise en place for our sauce. The rest of the ingredients will go in after we puree. Everything's simply going to go in the pot. We're gonna bring it all to a boil, reduce to a medium heat, covering it halfway, and adding water as needed until the beans are tender to the touch. So that means checking the boiling process from time to time. Okay, we'll be right back. Now I forgot to add the oil earlier, so I'm going to go ahead and do it now. Now I don't think I need to add more water at this point because the soaking really cuts down on cooking time. Let's check for doneness. Wonderful, almost there. Another 20 minutes will do. We'll be right back. beans have been cooled. In fact, I was working out in between tapings, so there's no heat whatsoever. You don't have to finish your sauce all in one day, by the way. You can cool it, 
put it in the fridge and come back to the puree step the next day. Now I took out one cup of the beans and the neck bone. I pulled some of the meat which will add back in there after we puree. Now, if you are a vegetarian, you can leave the turkey neck out entirely. We're going to puree, strain the sauce, and bring it back to the heat for our grand finale with the cream coconut and the rest of the ingredients. To the puree sauce, let's add the meat from the neck bone, the butter, and our shallow piquet. FYI, in Haitian cuisine, we use lots of cloves, but I don't like the element of surprise when I bite on them. So I press them in a shallot for easy fishing out later. Now you can also use an onion if you like. Now in this case, it would be called onion piquet instead of shallot piqué. Shallot, by the way, is the French pronunciation for shallot. Next, let's add the chicken bouillon, the maggi, the coconut cream, fresh thyme wrapped in twine for easy fishing out later, the scotch pepper bonnet. Now, you want to make sure it's not busted anywhere because you do not want your sauce spicy, okay? Unless that's what you're going for. And then lastly, we're going to add our salt and pepper to taste. Let's give it a little stir. And reduce it under medium heat uncovered. And the consistency we're looking for is nappy. The coating of the back of the spoon. We're not there yet, as you can see. And the reserved beans will be added last. Folks, our sauce is now done. This is the consistency we're looking for. Let's fish out the thyme, the shallot, and the pepper and add the reserved beans. 